pumping veins. I can't do much. Today, we're gonna try my luck at cleaning the sensor from of this camera with one of these cheap, average Joe blowers. Uh, not expecting much because the images I've recently seen when shooting anything above F11 on my sensor, ooh, um, there's a lot of retouching work needed. Now we're gonna be comparing this average Joe blow job to uh, the I don't know, Giotis, Giotis, however you say it, rocket blower. Now, now the size is the first thing you'll, you'll see. Uh, there's a lot more blow with uh, the Giotis. I wish I knew how to say it. Let's call it the, the Pro and your Joe. So the Pro has got a much bigger vessel to contain all the air. It sucks it in from the rear and pumps it out from the nozzle. Uh, I've noticed, obviously, in the last images that I've taken, it's showing every bit of dust and the retouch work for every image has suddenly become, from like a quick retouch, to painstakingly removing every bit of dust and it gets quite complicated when there is a lot to the scene and you want to smash out more than 100 images in a day. Pro blowjob versus average blowjob. <laughs> Which one's better? This Pro model, about £13 on Amazon I got it for, so it's not even a lot of money for something that can really help out in your camera kit. You need one. Don't just put it in a dirty camera bag because it's obviously going to be sucking up dirt and dust from wherever it's being stored. Okay, so let's see how bad uh, this, this dust situation is. I'm just going to shoot at a blank white wall. Uh, we're going to go to F, like I say, F22. I go to ISO 100. It must be to do with the shutter speed because it's not going to capture motion blur because it's not moving on the sensor, obviously. So the dust particles will still stay in focus. Take a shot. The last image I took and it looks white and it doesn't look bad. But if I was to go to the spot removal tool and go visualize spots and increase the sensitivity, you can see each one of these white dots is dust. So if I turn off visualized spots, and if we actually turn down the exposure, you'll be able to see, I make the whites white, but turn down the exposure, bring down the highlights a bit. But if we zoom in now, yeah, you can, you can see I've got a dirty sensor. Let's see if, if we can actually make a difference. You take your lens off. Turn your camera on. Go into your menu all the way to sensor cleaning. Clean manually. It will activate mirror lockup. Mirror will lock up. After manually cleaning sensor, turn power switch to off. So now we go and clean. The technique is to do it kind of upside down so the air, no, the dust will fall with gravity helping you. Get in there. Mmm, smells new. Come on, give it the blowjob of its life. Ah, oh, and my veins can't take any more squeezing. So now we turn the power switch to off. We'll close the sensor. Let's put our lens back on. Let's turn it on. Let's go and take a photo and fingers crossed. Bring the exposure down. Whites up. Let's go the highlights down a bit. Okay. A moment of truth. It's still there. There's a few less actually. Top right corner, 
top right corner what it was and what it is so it's definitely improved it proven 10% successful it hasn't actually cleaned my sensor which I knew it wouldn't I know it needs kind of like a, a proper wet wet swab kind of clean um, by being on location in dusty environments sandy environments I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a dusty sensor by changing lenses and stuff scientific tests coming up which one makes my hair flop around more uh, yep. I know. You do have to put a lot more effort in to get a similar amount of blow. If you want to get the best blow for your money, the Giotis is providing an oh so soothing blow job. I'll see you in the next video. I'm just going to enjoy this for a bit longer. <laughs>